Uh, welcome back and this is the last video about the basic understanding on SQLize and I'm just going to talk about migration which you can see everything in the documentation itself nothing new so you can do this migration I mean you can create the skeleton of the SQLize ORM with Node.js app using SQLize CLI so every like Angular CLI, uh, Gulp CLI, a lot of CLI tools are there out, out there similarly there is a SQLize CLI you create it and using this you will create a new project which will give you all these four folders okay so we already have created I created this in my own directory also like migration is there cedars is there okay config I already have a config.json there and one more model where I have the, the, the DB model okay and finally we need to create this equalize RC file which we will use for the migration so config because when we do the migration then it need to be aware about where are the model, where are the seeders, where are the migration script, where is the, the DB connection config. So everything is defined here. Config is there is a config.json inside a config folder. Model path is inside a models, right. There is a model, not models, so I can put it like this. Seeders is there and migrations is there. okay so we will get everything this is the config.json which we already have about the development test and production so we have already created a model you can also create a model using this sqlize cli using sqlize model generate the name of the model and attribute first name last name in, in email so it will create the file inside the models then whenever we run the migrations because till now so here I'm not talking about running the application it's totally a separate thing that we are actually trying to create something using SQLite CLI so we don't have a data in the table because we haven't run the application yet we just created a model now if you wanted to run this and create the data inside a table then we need to run the migration like this SQLize DB migrate DB create DB migrate so DB migration what it will do it will see your models which you have created and then it will try to create the data inside the tables so if you wanted to do undo the migration so migration will help you whenever you change the db from dev to qa qa to production then you have the track of what change has been done in the tables so you can have these migration script something like this db.createuser.js okay and all these things and migration scripts look like this uh, so migration skeleton this is typically look like this either you generate it or either you write your own migration so what it is saying up means you need to do it down means you need to either drop it either remove the column either drop the column so here we are actually creating the person table with all these two different columns and here um, just removing some resources which is like dropping the table person okay so you need to maintain this file with uh, having all this data okay so this is all uh, guys this is only about the basics just to get you familiar in most of the videos I talk about the documentations like migration uh, like hooks uh, like DB uh, associations because the documentation itself explaining more about this SQLize ORM so in next video we will write a one complete end-to-end -end application and we will do all this stuff in that thanks everyone